This recording is for Indonesian culture and society. And this time I'm going to be talking about Lampunese culture. Uh, so I really hope that this talk will going to help you later in studying further about Lampunese culture. And uh, because when we talk about each culture, like from Padang or, or Minangese culture and Batak culture, uh, just like with Lampunese, there are a lot of things that we can discuss. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to be talking about just one aspect of Lampunese culture, which is called Piil Persengiri. So Piil Persengiri, that's the way they, they call it. So this one uh, is actually referred to as a philosophical uh, base for uh, uh, Lampung people or Lampungese people. It's like the way of life. It's like the principles or the values that they hold. There, there are some things, if, if you search later, uh, you'll see that from, from source to source, from one article to another article, or even if you interview people, there's some uh, different terms, though, about pil persengiris, uh, and with the, with the points inside, sometimes, sometimes you will find four only, or sometimes you will find uh, five. So uh, this one is contributed by the fact that uh, in, in, in Lampung, uh, Lampung people consist of uh, ethnic groups, smaller ethnic groups uh, like Saibatin and Pepadun Pebadu, and so on. So there's some uh, differences, but at least in general, they're quite the same. So I'm going to be talking about uh, some points in uh, this called Pil Persengiri. And number one in Pil Persengiri is, is called Juluk Adek. Or some people call this Bajuluk Baadek. This one, we can call this one as a principle of success. Uh, there is an article that calls this one principle of, of, of success. Actually, Bajuluk Baadek refers to names uh, given to, to young people or, or to people. Julu, for example, is given to uh, young young people by the family, uh, commonly given to men, but there's some also given to uh, women. Uh, unmarried ones, while ade refers to commonly titles given to married people. Okay, now this one, it's it's not only like just giving them, them names, because these names or these titles different from the names that they got when they were born. Uh, but in Lampung, this, this giving names for young people and this giving titles for uh, married people is usually done through ceremonies. So, it, so uh, the fam family members have to gather there and, and uh, the village have to gather uh, together there so the uh, people must must come there and witness and, and see uh, them performing these ceremonies uh, according to the ways that they have already uh, been doing this uh, this time so the names given normally will will uh, will carry with it uh, values and, and meanings that the person receiving the name uh, has to keep up with. So this person uh, has to behave good and he has to be successful because he's, he carries the names just given uh, to him and he has to be responsible with that name. So basically, uh, this principle uh, will, or this, this culture, um, will motivate Lampungese people to be successful, to gain, to gain more, to be better, to be better from time to time. That's what uh, keeps them uh, uh, in, in their life. That's number one. Then number two, we have Nemunyima. Nemunyima. This one is, can be called as principle of hospitality. Because in this Nemunyima, actually, the, the, the principles is that one, that you have to visit people to come to their house as guests. And then uh, number two is that when people, because, because everybody uh, has to do this, so when other people come to your house, 
you have to be a friendly. So it's a principle of friendliness and hospitality. You have to be open uh, to people, and uh, you have to be sin sincere in in helping them, in giving them food, uh, something like that, in serving them so when they come to uh, your house. It's it's about hospitality. So they have this principle in their life culturally. So so they have to um, uh, to receive people with open hand uh, whenever uh, people come to their house, especially those in the village, those even they uh, those that they don't really know, but they have to be kind to people. Uh, that's that's the uh, number two of Bill Pasangili. And then number three, uh, this one is called Ngah Nyapur. Oh, Nyapur. This one is a principle of equality actually the uh, literal meaning of ngengah nyapur is like being in the middle so it's like in english it's like mingling okay we have to be inside the group so we have to participate uh, in in activities and we have to be among the people so this is also a very good principle or way of life in which in which they they have to be uh, open-minded. Uh, they they have to be loving, and they have to be like the uh, principle number two. They have to be friendly because if they are not, and then uh, they will not be able uh, to make it to get to get along with people. And uh, this also, in addition to to what I have just explained, is that. It, it means that if there are people coming in the in, in the community, we also have to accept them because because what this principle carries is that we uh, that that people are all equal. So it's about equality. Uh, that's number three. The number four, this one is called sakai sambayan. Sakai sambayan is more about like. If you read later or if you uh, interview uh, Lampung means people, uh, they will uh, directly say to you it's about uh, corporations like helping each other, and that's that's right actually. Uh, Sakai means like uh, it's like giving something to other people, to a person, to a community, or doing something for them, but something good. And something beneficial economically, something something like that is going to help them. But in then in in Sakai, it also means that you you hope that other people also uh, uh, do it to you. So it's like it is reciprocal. Okay, take and give, take and give, uh, something like that. But but we cannot say that. Uh, in Lampung culture, it means that when they do something good to you, they always expect back. It's not really the matter because uh, there is another word uh, which is sambayan. Well, sakai, that's the meaning of sakai, but sambayan means that doing also good things to people, especially to, to community because it's for the public, without expecting anything for return, uh, you're not you're not you're not expecting that you will receive back. That's that's the uh, the value uh, in in sambayan. So in general, sakai sambayan means that we we help each other, but again later we we're not uh, expecting to get back, even if that's what we need uh, in return. Uh, but here there is a the, this principle that really helps people in understanding how to uh, how to help other people uh, and and how to uh, work together with people without any expectation for uh, for something better in return. So we have five, uh, four. So we have julu uh, ade or bajulu ade, and then we have nemu uh, nyima. We have ngengah nyapur. We have sakai uh, sambayan. Commonly, some people just say. These four, some people will also say five, but then, then the other one is included as 
uh, person Giri is greeting as uh, number one, for example, there's some uh, people explaining this like that. And some also you will say another one which is Titi Gematai. Titi Gematai uh, is a principle of politeness, uh, norms, because Titi means like way. Uh, Gematai refers to uh, habits of uh, ancestors. So what have been doing uh, for quite a long time uh, by their um, grandparents uh, and, and, and so on. So the, this principle requires uh, Lampungis people to behave in a good way that have been uh, that has been kept by their ancestors. So they have to observe this one. So this one in, in norms whenever they conduct wedding ceremonies, so they have to do it uh, uh, well by observing what have been done so far. And including in, in morality and, and politeness and so on, so they have, they have to observe and they have to keep these norms uh, that have been done by uh, their ancestors. So, if you look at these principles, this, this, uh, they are really, really uh, great to keep. And actually, it's also uh, kept by other people uh, in, in, in some other uh, countries or some other uh, tribes. So, so uh, these are the principles of Pil Persongiri. Uh, but then later, you can, you can check from the references that you can study more about this principle or some other aspects of Lampungi's culture so that uh, in this subject you will learn more and more. Thank you. <laughs>